There was another incident that came up during our investigation of Lazar. We were trying to verify parts of his story. And he had told us that his boss, Dennis Mariani, out at S4, wanted him to have a gun and have a, a concealed carry permit. And um, I don't know, remember if you were involved in trying to track that down or not, but we found out where he had gone was that substation, a metro substation at St. Louis, on St. Louis in the east part of the valley. Were you South involved, Sub. Yeah. Were you involved in any of that and trying to track that down? I remember we discussed it and I might have done some preliminary looking around, like looking for records of, of, for registered weapons. Uh, but back then, also, I had to be really careful. If you, you didn't have any business sticking your nose somewhere, it didn't take long for, I mean, just your own superiors to know, you know, why were you in the, I mean, you can't go into NCIC or SCOPE, which is the low, as you know, the local uh, crime information uh, system, without leaving a digital footprint, even back then. So uh, other than uh, Mr. Mariani's name being on the rolls of owning a weapon, there wasn't much out there that, that anybody couldn't find at the time. Did you find a, a record that said Mariani had a, had a weapon? I believe I did. I'm almost certainly I did. You know, that's something uh, I still may have a connection or two that uh, I, I could ask a question that we might get an answer to on that. I, I would need the correct spelling on that name again. It's been forever since I've seen it. I'll send it to you. I remember back then it was a blue card system or something like that. It was right. where they, uh, the permits were literally on a blue card. Yeah, they, everybody, if you, there were two different uh, forms of ID you had to carry with a, a pistol uh, in Nevada. One was a concealed weapons permit, which was, wasn't that easy to get a hold of back in the day. They've made them a whole lot easier to get, get now. But the other thing would be anybody that bought a pistol, whatever shop you bought it in would give you a sheriff's a blue card. And they stopped doing that under this last administration, um, uh, Sheriff Lombardo's uh, people don't do that anymore. So if you buy a pistol, the only record of that is now wherever shop you bought it from, you know, whatever state or here locally, but they don't do the blue card system anymore. But back then, if you bought a, a weapon, uh, a pistol anyway, not a rifle, you didn't have to have a blue card for a rifle, but you did have to have a blue card for a pistol and, it, and not to be able to carry it concealed, just to be able to own it, period, in Clark County. Did actually you, stayed in Nevada. Do you, you have a sense of whether Dennis Mariani was a real person? A lot of people don't think he existed. I have I have no doubt. And I thought it was kind of funny that Bob used his name on his original interview with you when he was doing the, the shadow uh, vision thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah, it was, that was just tempting fate. <laughs> uh, when you visited Bob's house, did you ever see the disc holding the 115? Yes, it did. I was there with you when they were getting ready to set up filming on that. I know they were really excited about it. I didn't really understand the little experiment they were going to do, but I do remember that disc that Bob said the 115 was in. And there were a couple of times when he was, he had it in front of his particle accelerator sitting there. And his, he was ready to blow it up if somebody came to get him. See, he <laughs> thought it was real. 